I got interested in air guitar competitions four years ago when I attended my first air guitar competition actually in Boston. I was just blown away by this entire art form that revolves around imaginary instrument playing. Seeing all these incredible air guitarists, I wondered, what is the history of this practice? What are the kind of tensions within this community? What identities do people have who compete in these competitions, uh, et cetera? And so that led me down this spiraling project that was both historical and contemporary and ethnographic, exploring air guitar as a practice. You see people doing all kinds of complicated things with identity. People perform in these competitions as avatars, what I call avatars or personas. Air guitar and contemporary practices evokes these ideas of music controlling the body, you know, the body automatically responding to what music makes it do. I think that air guitar competitions are part of a broader shift in listening norms. You can look back historically and you see that these gesture listening practices conjure all of these accumulated ideas about race, gender, sexuality, ability, etc.